Hey girl, just take a little ride with me Get fly with me I can hold you down, know you try and ride with me I can be around, don't switch sides on me I'm just trying to move up on the sky What's up guys, Charge Go here We're back with another video This video is kind of crazy So, this Tesla that we have right here is an LFP car of the 2021 model year so it's pretty rare and only about 200 of these cars were ever made i'm gonna walk you guys through what makes this lfp car so incredibly special so if you guys like lfp content or electric vehicles please consider subscribing so quickly before i get into this video and talk about the lfp car i wanted to give some backstory as to how i obtained this vehicle I had an existing order in around August of 2021 and Tesla had sent out an email to everyone with a standard range plus on order saying, hey, we have some existing inventory vehicles. They're going to have a little less range at 253 miles of estimated range. If you want it, check inventory frequently and you might be able to secure one before the end of the quarter. So it's around August and my delivery date was for around November or December and I really needed a car. So I was really interested. I ended up finding an existing inventory vehicle in my area and I quickly secured it and had it delivered within two weeks. First, this car obviously has an LFP battery pack, but the battery pack is only 55 kilowatt hours in capacity. Whereas the newer LFP cars, I believe have a 60 or 63 kilowatt hour battery pack, which gives the car about 20 maybe 30 more miles of range but this car when it was new had about 253 miles of range whereas the new lfp cars come with about 272 but what makes this car so great is the performance motor yes this car has a p980 motor that the performance teslas have and another really cool thing about this car is the suspension setup we found out recently this car has a rear sway bar. If you know anything about a rear sway bar, you know the standard range cars do not come with that normally. The long range cars do, the performance car does. That probably could be a direct result of the battery pack being heavier and the car itself being heavier and the standard range suspension not being enough to support the extra weight. And so my theory with this car is that Tesla had a manufacturing issue in that you know there's a part shortage and whatnot and they probably had some lfp battery packs shipped here from china and so they probably just had spare parts put these cars together and yep there's 200 of these cars ever produced and my source is a tesla technician so that is extremely cool the new lfp cars come with a p990 motor which is obviously going to affect the acceleration from zero to 60, which this car can do in 5.3 seconds. And the newer one's supposed to do it north of, I think maybe it's like 5.8 seconds or maybe something closer to six. But what's really interesting about this car is we might've put it up against a dual motor Model Y and it took the Model Y off the line. So maybe there's something that's not being disclosed about this car in specific, which I'm interested in finding out and I'll obviously share with you guys as soon as I do. We also put the car up against one of our friends with a 2019 standard range Model 3 with the Engine X tuner, and we managed to keep up with them. So we're thinking that the zero to 60 on this car could be below five seconds, which would be insane. To sum it all up, about 200 of these units were made with this specific LFP pack, the performance P980 motor, and the long range suspension, which comes with a rear sway bar, which is extremely cool. And it's a common aftermarket accessory people get for these cars. So that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much the same and the interior is the same, the exterior is the same. It does have the upgraded or the updated headlights rather, which we could take a look at right now. But aside from that, every, everything's pretty much the same. This is a standard range plus. I now get about 248 miles on a full charge. Degradation is negligible. And that's about that. That's what makes this car so freaking cool. So if you guys like this video, leave it down in the comments. 